reason to give him praise. I said, I got a reason to give him praise. Is there anybody here in higher call today that's got a reason to give God praise? For the Lord shall guide me. He will hide me. He will secure me. He will stabilize me. He is my shepherd. He is my father. He is my savior. He is my keeper. So, oh, so, I got to stop here today. But let me stop with this psalm. Psalm 116. David recognized with everybody that was on my back trying to destroy me. He said, I should have been dead already. But David woke up one morning and recognized that he had help from God. And he said in Psalm 116, verse number 12, What shall I render unto the Lord? for all his benefits toward me. He said, what should I give God to pay him back for all he's been doing in my life? Well, the next verse, he said, I will take of the cup of salvation. What do you mean, David? He said, when I got into the Holy of Holies and really saw God right, the only thing I could really give God is to take more in other words God said what I want you to do to pay me back is to take more of me in other words instead of trying to find out how to please me take more of what I'm giving you because when you take more I'm going to empower you to help somebody else I'm going to equip you to help somebody else Look at your neighbor and say, let's take some more. Come on and get in praise right there. Come on and get in praise right there. Take some more. Take some more. Take some more. Take some more. If you believe it, throw your hands in the air and say, I need more, Lord. More. Glory to God. More, 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 more. Ah. Come on, Zion, and give him praise. Take more, take more. So I make up my mind. I'm not focused on what hurt me. The hurt came from the outer four circles. My focus is on who helped me. How did you get through it? If it had not been for the Lord who was on my if it had not been David said when my mother and my father forsake me then the Lord shared he'd take me up David looked around one day and said though a host should encamp against me I find my confidence in knowing God's got my back David was in a dark place and realized the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Somebody said, wait on the Lord and be of good courage. He will strengthen your heart. 
See, the church got to get back to Jesus. We too caught up in who's sitting next to us and who's preaching tonight and who's teaching and who's in the choir. Forget about all that because ain't none of them got you through that storm you just came out of. And if you're in a storm right now, I prophesy to you the quickest way out is to recognize who took you in because if you can honor God no matter where he takes you, in all things, in all things give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. So, eyes haven't even seen. Them folk ain't seen. Ear ain't heard. It hasn't even entered into their hearts the things God hath prepared for you. But he has revealed them to us. Oh, the revelation is in here. While trouble is out there, I got a revelation that let me sleep at night. I got a revelation that lets me get my rest. When everybody else is pacing the floor, I can lay down because God showed me more than today. I see more than last night. Everything people told me was going to go wrong in my life has all been proven a lie. So why receive any other lies when there's over 3,640 promises in here? Why keep up with what the haters are saying and don't know what God is saying? I dare you right now to lift your hands to God and all over this building begin to thank Him because your life is getting better every day. I don't care where you're at. I don't care what you're going through. I say your personal life. Come on. Come on. I don't care what your position is. Your personal life is getting better. And it's not getting better because of whose church you in. It ain't getting better because of who prayed for you. It's getting better because God said, I prayed for you. That your faith fail not. I prayed for you. God says, I got you. If don't nobody pray for you, God said, I got you covered. So we thank the Lord. So we thank the Lord. Close all the doors you want to close. Still give God praise. I, I still honor the Lord. Mm. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I still got to praise. After all I've been through, I still say yes. No turning back. No turning back. Mm. Somebody going through something this morning and you ain't told nobody how much you're dealing with, but that's why you can lift your hands in the air and say, God, if don't nobody know all of it, you know all of it. You know every time, every bit, every issue. Oh my God. People will limit you by the information they got on you. But God will say, keep moving. Because they got information, they don't have it all. So you got to keep moving. You can't die. I say, you can't die. You got to live. Who's going to live in here with me today? Who's going to live in here? That's right. Whatever you're dealing with, I want somebody who has been through some stuff in the last six months of your life. It's been gut-wrenching. It's been difficult. It's been complex. And the devil tried to tell you, you know, you ain't no good. and you ain't. I want those people to just throw your hands up in the air and say, Lord, thank you for being with me. 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 Hey, thank you for being with me. Woo! Thank you. Thank you for 
being with me. Woo! My, 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 my. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Thank you. See, you, you got to know why these hands are up when I couldn't find nobody. Somebody said there was nobody worth finding anyway because there was nobody greater. Nobody greater than him. So you done searched all over. You tried to find somebody. It was 1 o'clock in the morning. It was 2 a.m. And you just wish somebody could understand what you was dealing with. God said, look, the one who understood was right there. That's how you made it through. You mad at who didn't show up and didn't recognize who did. God says there was nobody greater than me. And the reason why you standing today, after all you've been through and what you're dealing with right now, See, God told me my ministry is encouragement. I thought my ministry was revelation. What good is revelation to a discouraged man? You get yourself right with God and start seeing God in you right. Then you can get revelation. It'll bless you. Well, the first revelation you need is knowing God. Your life ain't going in until it's time. Come on, let's stand and sing this song. I searched all over. I searched all over. Couldn't find nobody. I searched high and low. Still couldn't find nobody. 